everyone, I have a yard sale haul. Um, I went yard sailing both Friday and today, Saturday, because I actually had off work this week, so I got to go on Friday. However, I just feel like yard sale season, I mean, it's not over yet, but I just feel like it's been kind of going downhill as far as, like, finding things. Um, typically during the beginning of yard sale season, like, I find lots of great stuff, and then it just kind of tapers off from there. I mean, it happens every single year, so I'm not really surprised by it, but it's just a little frustrating because, you know, I have off work finally on a Friday that I can go yard sailing, and there still isn't, you know, a whole lot of yard sales and not really finding a whole lot and everything like that. But I did find some good things between yesterday and today, so I'm going to show you guys what I found. Um, let's see, just random story before I start. Uh, the other day I went to a yard sale and I had seen a Victoria's Secret body spray and it wasn't priced and you all know that's like one of the biggest pet peeves of mine so I wasn't even gonna like ask how much you know they wanted for it but um my mom asked because as I've said before my mom has more balls than I do um but the girl was like I guess it didn't even belong to her it belonged to someone else who wasn't at the yard sale and she's like oh I'm pretty sure she wants ten dollars for that I thought shit my pants I'm still like seriously ten dollars for a body spray at a yard sale. Like, I'm thinking, am I in the store right now or am I in someone's yard? Like, I just couldn't get past that. I mean, granted, if it was something that I wanted bad enough, I mean, maybe I'd pay it, but not $10 for a body spray when you can go to other yard sales and buy them for like less than a dollar. So, needless to say, I did not get it, but um, I will show you guys what I did find. Um. I'll show you what I found yesterday first. There was a community um, down the street from me. And I found this Body Fantasies Cotton Candy Body Spray. And I doubt I will ever use this. However, smelling it reminds me of being in middle school. Or like a freshman in high school. Around that time. Like 8th grade middle school, ninth grade high school. Um, because... I don't think I've ever owned this fragrance, but my best friend did, and she wore it a lot. So whenever I smell it, like, it reminds me not only of her, but just, you know, those memories from that time. And I'm the kind of person who, you know, I like smelling things that remind me of stuff. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's like that, but I had to get it because that, it just reminded me of that time period. Uh, but this was 50 cents, so I got that. Pretty much just for the memory aspect. Um, that is like the, wait, no. There was two other things I found in that community. Hold on. So, I also found this bracelet. This was the only piece of jewelry I found. And I paid a dollar for this. And I think it was like a dollar ninety-nine originally. So, it wasn't like much of a, uh. A deal I guess but I thought it was really cute it's just like a rhinestone bracelet with like white cording in between of like a silver chain link so I thought it was cute and it was new so I got it that was a dollar and then uh, the only other thing I found up the street was this um, Clinique nail polish and this is just a mini a little mini bottle this was 50 cents I was gonna take the tag off yesterday and then I was like wait a minute I haven't done my haul yet so, um, I don't think this has a color, or at least it doesn't say. It just says a different nail enamel clinique. But I thought that was a cute, like, corally peach color. So I got that. Um, at one yard sale, I got a couple of things. I found this bag, and I paid 75 cents for it. And it's by a brand called Gryson for Target, so I guess that's like one of the like designers that Target gets to like make things for them or design things for them. I've never heard of it before but it's just this really pretty blue with like a weaved uh, design and it's just a crossbody bag and it looked like it was brand new so I paid 75 cents for that. I thought it was cute and I love crossbody bags. And then I also found two shirts there. And these are both by the brand L, so I'm sure they came from Kohl's. 
And these are also both long sleeved, so I was thinking of fall when I purchased these. All the clothes were 50 cents a piece, so I paid 50 cents for this. Just a black long sleeve top, and it's got this pretty um, design across the collar. So I got that. And I apologize, I'm on my old camera right now. I didn't charge the battery to my other one. So, I'm sorry for like the focusing thing. I'm sure that's happening right now. And then the other top I got was this gray and white stripe long sleeve top. Also by Elle. And this one has like a multicolored little floral um, applique right there. So... I thought those were cute for fall. And then today I barely found anything either. Um, I found this Bath & Body Works Slatkin & Company candle. And this is in Cranberry Pear Bellini. And this is new. Uh, this wasn't priced, but I asked the lady because I was curious. And she said it was only $0.25. Cents, so I got that for a quarter. And it smells really good. Ooh. I love these um, little candles to put along um, my bathtub for when I take baths. So, mm, this one's like a really nice summery kind of smell. Fruity but sweet at the same time. And then, um, well, I only have two more things to show. There really wasn't a lot yard selling again this week. Um, this was just like, kind of like, I don't know meant to happen kind of thing. We were driving to, I think we were going to the Dollar Tree. I was with my parents and there happened to be like an ambulance coming so we had to pull over and it just so happened that we were pulling over and there was like a yard sale uh, like right there and we weren't even going to stop because it just seemed like a very small yard sale. We call those drive-bys. And so like, we weren't even going to stop, but we're like, okay, we'll get out since, you know, we had to pull over for the ambulance. So we get out and walk up to the yard sale and the lady's like, fill a bag for a dollar. Because I guess they were, you know, packing up and just wanted to get rid of stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. Like I started looking around and then I'm like, yeah, I don't think there's anything here that's even going to interest me to fill a bag for a dollar. But um, I ended up finding these shoes. And I thought these were so adorable. These are like brand new. I don't think they were ever worn. And they're just like brown knee length boots. Like suede. And they have this cute little fringe along the sides. And they were my size and everything. So I was like, oh, I have to get those at least. Because these are definitely worth a dollar in my opinion. And I think those will be these will be great for fall. So I got those. And like that's all I bought. So I, I gave her a dollar for it even though... You know, I didn't really fill a bag or anything like that. So as we were leaving, um, there was a box, like, kind of underneath the table that had purses in it. And I didn't even notice it at first. My mom was like, did you even see these purses? And I was like, no, I didn't. And the very first one on the top was this one here. And it's just a silver metallic bag. And it's got, like, two zipper compartments on the front. And the inside like leopard print and I could tell right away that it was real leather because you could smell it and it ended up being a B Mikowski purse and I just found one of these not that long ago at a yard sale that I paid like five dollars for and it was like retailed like 300 something so I guess these are like really expensive purses um so I found this and I was like, okay, well, whatever, like I'll pay another dollar for it. Like, I don't mind. Um, but the, the lady was like, no, 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 um, it's just part of your bag, you know, just don't worry about it, just throw it in your bag. So I got this for pretty much 50 cents and the boots for 50 cents too. So that's like an amazing find and deal and it's like, it almost seemed like it was happening for a reason since we had to pull over anyway, we weren't even going to get out. So that also kind of goes to show you, like, when we see yard sales and, like, we just deem them not worthy of stopping because, you know, it, they only have, like, one table or something. Um, or you can just tell when, when, you're, when you go past that it's all, like, baby clothes or whatnot. Um, but you just never know what you're going to find unless you get out of the car. So that just kind of goes to show you that 
you shouldn't always buy past carriage sales, but my dad's always driving and obviously he kind of controls that. So, but speaking of my dad, and I'm just going to throw this in here, um, I guess my parents were at the mall the other day and my parents, they are just amazing at claw machines. Like those little machines with like the claw that comes down and like it picks stuff up. Like they can get things like that from them. Um, my mom usually will just do them for the hell of it because she knows that she can win something. I don't know how they do it, but both my mom and my dad are just great at it. So I guess at the mall they started have, they, they started a claw machine full of these Starbucks cups. And these are just like reusable like plastic cups, but they look like the paper cups. And on the machine it says that there's like anywhere between like five to a hundred dollar gift cards in them so they just you know stuck in I don't think it was like 50 cents to play you get two tries and um, my dad didn't win it on the first try but he did win it on the second and there was a five dollar Starbucks gift card in here so I already used the gift card but um I thought this was a really cute uh, cup too so um have my Starbucks today and I also have this cute little cup so that was really sweet of them when they saw that and decided to play it so they could win me something. And my mom was like, the next time I go back in there, I'm going to try to win another one. And I was like, well, mom, just be careful. I said, like, they're probably all $5 gift cards, even though they say anywhere from $5 to $100. I'm sure either all of them are $5. Or... But anyway, that is my very small yard sale haul. I hope you guys liked it. I do have off again next week, so I'll be able to go yard selling again. Um... So we shall see if I find anything, but I will see you next time.